Former player agent Ricky Nixon. Ricky Nixon is no stranger to drama. His life is spiralling out of control. It really is a spectacular fall from grace for Ricky Nixon. Nixon's fall from grace started early last year. All there is to know about me and my soul. But if we're gonna go All aboard. Toot toot. Number one is Virgin Chicken Train. Ricky Nixon. It's been a tough three years. No tougher than the last few weeks, actually. I've been very, very, very depressed. Very depressed. I'll tell you why, because I only just found out schoolies is until November this year. <laughs> who's been to the Ritz here? Now, who's been to the Ritz? Put your hand up on a Thursday night, right? <laughs> I was there a couple of Thursdays ago, and uh, things were going all right, as they do, and uh, time for a drink. So I walked up the bar, I was trying to mind my own business. I'm standing there, and all of a sudden I get this bump. So I Turn around, here's this little jerk standing there, looking at me. I said, you're right there, mate? And he goes, oh, it's the chicken train. Have a look at you. You're old enough to be my old man. I said, is that right, prick? I grabbed him by the balls and stood him up, and I said, show us a photograph of your mum. Anything's possible, mate. <laughs> got, uh, I, got engaged at, uh, I got engaged last year. Yes, I do some stupid things, I know. That was the first thing. The second one was I got engaged at Moe McDonald's. I'll spit it out in a minute. Now look, I don't get it. Exactly, my point. The most prestigious restaurant in Moe I go to. Of course, you know what Moe stands for. Moccasins on everyone. Where's Harley tonight? He's from Moe. He's in here tonight, sorry. Now, I know we referred to the cleaner before, but I got a new cleaner. I got a new cleaner. And... Um, she came to my house for the first time in Bay Street and we've got these steps that go down onto the street. It's a bit of a walk of shame, actually. And we go down the street. I'm off to Hunky Dory's and... <laughs> off to Hunky Dory's and uh, it's only 50 metres down the road and I suppose I hadn't been out with a girl for a while and we, we've gone about five metres and all of a sudden people are taking photos and staring and I must admit she started to get a little bit anxious and so we go on to Hunky Dory's, quickly grabbed the bay pack and we raced back to my place and we went upstairs. She said, oh, my God... I couldn't believe that. I said, what? She goes, oh, look, all the attention. People are staring at us. They're taking photos. They're talking about us. I just can't do this. I said, oh, come on. She goes, can we just go somewhere nice and quiet where no one's around, where no one's going to stare or take photos? I said, all right, let's go to a Port Power game. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I we get him out one more time. We reckon, guys. Big round applause. Get him back out here. Ricky! Chicken! Chicken! Give it a round of applause. Come on, mate. Come on, one more round of applause. Do you want to hear it? Come on, let's hear some noise. To Ricky, come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Come here, big Ricky Nixon, everyone. Come on, hey! Okay, uh... Oh-ho! Yeah, yeah, it was actually pretty freaking hilarious. It was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 